Okay, Friday, April 16, and we are red. So this is the daily. We are still above the support. We rejected once again this trend line. So we rejected here, we rejected there, and we are coiling inside this area on the daily. And we didn't manage to, from the, the support, everyone bought here, everyone was expecting to go to 68 minimum, and we got the rejection, and now let's see what we do on the daily, if we close at the, if the 21 and the 12 old, we might range here, and let's see, we need to close basically at this area, the 62, 62.3, to be able to be back to this trend line, and then maybe try to close above this one, try to push to the other. And now we are below, we rejected once again the main trend line that we see on the weekly, and we are rejecting that. So, to be more simple, the 12 is holding now, but since we have still one day, many hours until we close the daily, we, I don't think this will be, we will stop here for like 10 hours or 10 hours. So the 21 is here and we need to hold this trend line that we've been holding for this time. Remember, that we, we need to close above basically to see if we push higher and then we need to close above this one and then start to close this area, the 6.4, 6.3 to try to close above that line. To be easier, it's better with to buy only above here or above when we have, we get the close above that trend line now. Of course, we can buy the deep if we close above and we can use our stop loss. And hopefully if there's no week, we do something like this, like this, but at the third time, might get tricky and that might not work like the two previous times, like here. Okay, so, this is the daily, the 200 simple is on the 32, 33, the 200, 200 exponential on the 38.2, the 100 on 48, 89 on 49.50, FIB 168 on 35. So this is the daily. We need to hold basically the moving averages again. And on the dial, we have, we come down, we have all this support until the 33. This is the dial. Remember, we are already below. We need to close above the top. If we close above here, there's still 61.1. There's still a chance to go higher. So let's see how we close today. In terms of RSI, we rejected this trend line once again. Here, here, here we didn't touch, and now we rejected again in this area, the RSI. Support on the daily, it's around here, on the 43, 36, on the daily. So let's see what we do. Don't catch a falling knife. Knife. Okay, so... Going to put the monthly. So this is the monthly on this stamp. So we are rejecting the trend line. We still did, weren't able to pass it. We tried many times, but we are rejecting. And here the RSI we can still go higher, but it seems like we are turning flat. And let's see if we do something like this to come down and then push for the left leg up higher and higher. This area over there, there's no volume on this move as we see here, volume decreasing, so it doesn't look so good. And we have all the feet extension. We are rejecting one now. 61.7 rejection. And let's see, we might just range and come back to here for support, which is aligned with the weekly support. And in, on the monthly, we have 221 here on 23, more or less, 24, 
the 12 and 33, and of course the other areas below that doesn't need to, we don't need to think about it right now. Okay, so going for the weekly. So rejection, as you can see at the moment, another rejection. We need to close the week. We can basic and we basically about this trend line. If we close above, we will go higher. Support on the 12, 61, 51.9, and the 21 and the 20 are on the 43, 44 area. So we can range here for a while and then break out or break up, break out, up or break down from here. So, but let's see how we close the weekend. If we close above, there's still a chance. We close above, but doesn't look like like. And let's see. So no volume, volume flat, completely flat. I can still see a push up, but and then to reject this trend line on the other side. But let's see what we do this weekend. It's all about the daily now and the weekly about about this trend line, this trend line, and the range here. Remember the 200 simple is already on 11.3, and the 277, and 200 exponential on the, around 14k. Okay. So what's more? Four hours. So looking really bad. We are trying to hold the 50, but already below. We have the 200 here. We have the trend line. We rejected this one. Here looks like it wanted to pump. And suddenly rejection, rejection. And the trend line is here. So we need to hold this 58.7 more or less. This trend line. And 57.6. 57.4.5 needs to hold. Looking at support and resistance here, I'm seeing this area not tested. 56.7, which is aligned with this 177. Or this area here, which can be also 56.5. So if we have a drop, I'm seeing this area here. And then let's see if we bounce. We need to pass all the resistance. So, so let's see. This can be turn ugly, turn out ugly. And I'm seeing this area here on the four hours. But remember, if we go there and we don't pump, we will be below the 21 and the dial on the dial yet. So let's see. We hold. So this is 51, okay, the 12, and we go, that's 51, and if we go to the 4 hours, we have still the 55. Okay, so we're really looking bad. We need some, at least to close it on 4 hours with higher lows, like here. At least 2 candles, 2 or 3, normally 2 is enough to make two higher lows, so we can, we can push higher. So don't catch any falling knife, just be patient. And, and if you come down, look at your alt, where we are on the support, because we might retest some important areas as support on your favorite alt. So I'm checking the weekly now. Well, we are here. Now I'm going Push them out. Ethereum rejection perfect, not perfect, but rejection from the peak. On the 2039, we went to 2300. My target is 2300 euros, but we didn't test this trend line as support. Sorry, not this one. So we might set this as support if this happens, but we, we might still go over there. It's connected with the 12 exponential. 
and if we train long term blind gas, we might train to try to push higher. So Ethereum has more volatility. Remember, this trend line wasn't tested at support. And if we break down, we still have the 100 here. In the areas of support, this cluster needs to hold. And this one, especially, yeah, especially here, points. This area needs to hold, basically. If not, we have here, and the 200 are here. So it's still a long way. So we might just range here. Let's see if we hold this support and this support now. This was already tested. So we might just test 1.8 and hold, try to push higher. Otherwise, this is the first area I'm seeing. When do we close the week? The next candle might send you. Who knows? Light point, still above support, so rejection, but still okay. Seems like we are rejecting on every side this trend line. So let's see if we keep on coming down and close this below here. It's a strange. If this holds, we might just retest this as support and this to try to push higher. So this is where we are on the chart. The 10 years, we still didn't come. It is up and it's up, so we might just range to try another push higher. Any closes below here, or this top will be a range, and closes below here, we will come down. We left 21 and 12 here. So we're still looking good, no stress for now. Only if we start to see something like this. But quickly. Okay, still about the support. We are getting this retest. If this holds the next candle, we can go higher, but we need a close about 44.5. So basically, that's here. And it closes about this area. Will be good. So now we are rejection, rejecting this area. The 12 is on 33. We have the trend line, and we have the 21 at 26, and the 20 at 24. So for now, we are still holding, so it's still good. Let's see how we close the week. This is the chart I have for the week. Still looking good. We still can do a higher low on this area here, which is the support. I can do a yellow line here, so it will be here, and we can range here. This area was not tested as support, which is aligned with the 12. We close below, we have this trend line alongside the moving average. And we can have these weeks back here on the 21. And this one gave a big bounce. So just get ready for some volatility to happen. Link weekly. Okay, so this is the support we might come to test the support. We have a support here, very simple. This is the next support. Alongside with the 12, we have the trend line and the 21 below. We have maybe for top loss and okay, so and this one, this trend line was not tested as support, so we can have some volatility. Now maybe you can price comes to test this trend line. And it will be a good buy. I can push this one down. So this will be the area if we break down from here. Other, so I don't know. So rejecting, still looking okay. 12 is here. This is a big range. And we are rejecting this area. So we need to close basically about 1.21, 1.23, 1.24, try to push higher. 12 is here on 87, 21 on 68. 
you know, for a few range here that, you know, we didn't test that support for a big breakdown. So 29.30 is quite possible to in the future. And this area as well. On 18. So for now, we are ranging here, consolidating to try to keep higher. You can do also here, this is support. This yellow line next support at two poles, hopefully hold. BNB, we went to 530. Consolidation red already, support here. And on this final area, 21 and the 20 around this area, so can have some volatility ahead. We went up too far, too far. We need some consolidation. Here's the papaya from the driveway. BND. Okay, so. We broke this down, rejection, and we are rejecting this one. Okay, so we have the 21 and the 20 here, and then we need to close basically about video stuff to be more simple. We've got support here, we just we tested here. You can see this one was tested. Or we might come here to 351 from what I'm looking for the to the 20 basically would be a good buy and try to push higher. Let me just check the four hours. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so we just Broke here like this, rejection, confirmation, and coming down. Still have this support. We still have this range here. Need to hold this one from here, here, and now we need to hold here, but whether and it breaks above here, we push higher. So we need some closes above this area, above this trend line to try to push higher. And do maybe this one here. Yeah, it seems like one point, point to close it above, support, support. So this is a blue flag. Let's see if it keeps old and then close it above here to try to push high. We close below here, we have all these moving averages. Areas that weren't tested at support. I'm seeing this one here, 289. Let me see, this one was not tested as well, 319. So, this area, I'm seeing we break down and still make higher lows compared with this range. Ripple. This volatility before, this stamp coming down to the peak this year, and we have all these moving averages, so more volatility. So let's see where it stops. We should stop at this year, okay. indicator pointing down. Back to the weekly. Okay, so rejection from this area, remember. This trend line was not tested as support, the 21 is here, and the support is here, basically on 52 and 50. So let's see what to do. And if this holds around this area, to try to push higher. We can do a trend line from here. So this is area that would be better to hold on the weekly. Try to push one more time up 
will be below here, we will come down here and stellar so rejection, one rejection and now we are having the continuation of this close below so it seems like we want to pay more to the 42 to the support here on the candles and 34 of this close that we already found so 36 so let's see where we can go this is the support we have this point of control here very simple that we close above we need to close above here to be on the weekly to try to push higher if we don't pass the 50 area we can come down to this range and we can have up to 30 on the 21 and the 20 and the support this was tested here as you can see this point of control was tested with three, three candles as we see and two in higher lows and now we are coming down this is the point of control that is not holding for now and we have this support here so we can range here we have this point of control here as well that we didn't test the support and you can use this support area too. so this is the support that need to hold try to push higher this is the long term as we see got these lines to the retest here if we have a big breakdown this is the channel we are close this below this trend line is that <coughs> everything was retested as support on the way up we managed to close above 83 or maybe higher to target so we didn't manage to break out yet from, from the 50 we are trying but still not good rejection rejection and another rejection support support direct weekly still looking good red but seems like this, this is support since one has support and has volatility this is the support here 1.5 and of course we didn't test this area of support 1.25 target will be 2.5 if this falls, the target will be this line, maybe next week, 2.7 to 3. So let's see if this here is support. EOS rejection as well. This is the point of control. Here. So we need to close up this one to keep on going higher. This is a very important area. And we are rejecting. Let's see how it looks. We can come down to test this trend line. In the line we are trying to hold it. So this below, we can come down to this area to this trend line many trend lines here I'll just take off reassess this is old stuff but this one is the strong one and I will of course we can put it where here to this support one point two point three four support okay so let's see if we hold this to try to push higher we have to have this area as support and I think it's enough that could be fun so the dollar is still 
not looking so good. I think it will go to 91.3, 91.2, and then maybe bounce from there. Stock market still holding. Let's see when it opens today. Gold is looking good. Yeah, gold looks like he wants to come. 1.8, 1.71, Breaking out now. So this is the target. This is the cluster, top, bottom. We have this week here, like a 1.8. So it will be 1.7, 1.8. And then we assess both is above the blue flag. We can push higher and we have 200 here all this area here, so this point of control, strong one here, one point here. This is the one, it's all arranged from here to here. Indicators are pointing up, so blue flag working, double bottom, consolidation, push higher, took a while, coiling, coiling, today we broke out, or more, better than, I think was today and better than. Okay, so back to this point, still ranging, still on the same. So let's see if the daily old. It's still possible. So just a bit more consolidation. Liquidating some longs. Let's see, still holding the 12, but we need the daily to close there. So it's tricky to buy now. Because suddenly everyone buys and we have and we close below. So we need to wait until the daily close is in 12 hours. So indicators are pointing down. So let's see. To be easier, it's better to buy when the price closes at 63.7 with confirmation and to push higher. Or if you start coil, to coil above here, 62.7. And then close it above there to put higher. For now, let's see where we go. And where we close, and then we need two, four hours higher lows to be bullish, or at least to have a bounce. So daily, like this, not looking good. Still on the same spot, so this is tricky. 49 minutes, 50 minutes to go. We need to close above the 50 to try to push higher. So big resistance now. It's trying. I think we will close above the 50. Big resistance here from 62.5, and we have 21, the 12, and the 20 as resistance. Plus all this area here as resistance. So to be safer, it's better to close to buy above here, especially above. 63.5.4 to try to push higher. Indicators still pointing down. Let's see where we go. As I said before, I'm seeing this area here 56.7, 07, 66, and this top here as where is it? Around here. 56.5, but we still have this trend line before. This one, one was set before. This, as we see here, we might fall here because here this candle even came down here to test it as support. So this might still hold, and we have the 89 here. This is what I'm seeing now. It's coming to the. 60, we test the 60k, and then if we close about the 50 here, we can push higher. And then we can use this as stop loss below the bounce, but we need two four hour candles at least. And you can use your risk manager. 